had Zena Warthog Princess. Welcome again to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Happy to have you. Um, this video is going to be the first video in a three part series for <laughs> packing for a four day trip to Orlando. I will be flying out there for a quick visit and then coming back. Three series to get <laughs> a short trip, and you'll see why because there's so many choices to pick from. It makes it actually quite difficult to decide what and how to pack, never mind like what you actually need to bring. So it's kind of gonna be a process. This first look, video one of the three, will be a look at what I might use to get there and back. And then there'll be a second video that will be what I'm gonna use kind of in and around Orlando for those few days. And then the third video will be an actual unpack with me. Like this is how I actually did pack in the end. So. Here comes video one, and this one is heavy on the flamingo black, uh, which fitting because I am going to Florida, um, but I'll explain a little bit more about the flamingo black as we get into it. Before we get to the pretty flamingos and florals, I do have a puddle jumper wheelie two, um, and well, I think it's a two. I, I already took the tags off, but it is in black. This will be my first time using this wheelie, and so I'm really excited about it. I've been dying to use it. Normally I carry a hard-sided 22-inch spinner in purple, and last trip I used that spinner with my Bloom Black Boxer 2. I'll put a video up here for that, and you can see what I took on that trip. But this trip we're gonna use this one for the first time, and I'm real excited. It does have this wipeable bottom, it's got the spinner wheels, it's got the extra carry handle there for like lifting and stowing. You've got this big pocket, you know, it's this classic puddle jumper look to it. And in the big pocket, which opens up very nicely, it does also come with a single runway envelope. Um, I do have black runway envelopes already, which we may or may not see on this trip. Um, but this one has the interior that matches the interior here, which is that pink and black stripey one with the like, sort of olive in there as well. It has this mirror which Velcros out, and then you have a soft line pocket here, like for your glasses or your phone soft stuff if you want. Um, and you don't have to use this, obviously, but you certainly can, and it's got a nice double zipper closure. Very good size pocket. Then you have pocket on pocket with your normal magnetic and open pocket there. You do have a cell phone pocket on top, just like on your pedal jumpers. And then you have a pocket behind. So you have a double zipper that comes part way down. You can access a pocket very nicely, but it's a straight pocket, no internal organization. But this might be a really good place to put your laptop for quick access or maybe some magazines or puzzle books or whatever. Um, relatively flat things. I mean, it does have a little bit of gusset to it, which you can see down here. It's, um, almost two fingers thick, so you do have some space. So you have a finger and a half, and then you have two fingers, and then you have the main bag. Yeah. If you do pack it really thick, though, this is, you know, it's fabric. It's not hard-sided, so it does have some bulgeability. I, I know that's not a word. I just made it up. But um, that bulgeability can make it stand a little taller, but not all compartments could necessarily accommodate that additional height. Um, so just something to... Caution, depending on what airline and what type of plane and all of that, it could be a factor for you. It might actually end up being a factor for me. I hope not because I really don't want to gate check this bag, but I will if I have to. The good news about this bag is on the two larger pockets, the front one here that we were just looking at and the main pocket, they both have the loop between the zippers there, you can kind of see. So you can lock those two compartments. So I will bring some locks just in case I have to gate check it. Um, and there you go. Um, I'm hoping not to. I'm hoping to go carry on only. And that's why I have two big carry ons. Four days, three nights. But there'll be a lot of extra stuff because I've got gifts for my family. And yeah, anyways, <laughs> overpacker plus on this one. So this main pocket, you open it up, it's a double zipper, and it opens this way. It doesn't quite lay flat, but on the inside there you have two big elastic pockets. They are separate pockets, they do not overlap, so there's bottom and top. 
but they're pretty generously sized. Like you could put a lot of stuff in there. This might be another place for like clear views, runway envelopes, transports, uh, things like that, any kind of thing. Or you can just put loose items in there as well. The interior has a nice elastic strap to kind of hold things in as well. But I really like it. It is a tapered shape, bigger on the bottom, smaller on the top. Also, when you look at the front, it's wider at the bottom, narrow at the top. So it tapers in both directions towards the top. It does also have a trolley sleeve on it. So if I did choose to go with like a bigger suitcase, I could put this on top of that and still have to just roll a one suitcase. I'm trying not to take a check bag though. So we'll see. But this bag, it's just plain black. Um, but the handle zips in, so it's protected when it's not in use. You zip that up. So plain black, but a couple of things. Hang on, i got to rearrange things for just a sec here. I just did a video where I got a haul for my new Apollos. I'll put that video here for you in case you missed it. But look how sharp these two look together. So if I was traveling a little lighter, which I'm not on this trip, but wouldn't that go great together? It's like black and subtle, but pop right there. It's so pretty. I do like that. I like it a lot. Actually. But I do not plan to take that new Apollo on this trip because I have something else that will accommodate my packing more better. More better. And that is the steamboat in Flamingo Black. So speaking of pop of color, that's a lot more in your face with it, but look again how sharp that looks with just the plain black. I think that's gonna be really fun. And anyways, this is my plan. So that much I can tell you, I am bringing those two main bags. The rest of this is options and we shall see what makes the cut. But before we get to the big bag, let's look at all the little bits inside of it. So Flamingo Black was one of those patterns that initially appealed to me like from afar like oh it's pretty but it's no not for me different reasons i liked it but i just didn't want it and then it grew on me and i kept seeing it and i see like sonia i think it's sonia harris whatever she has flamingos everywhere everything and i was like oh my gosh and every time i saw it i wanted it more so it's just one of those ones that just grew on me late that's fine um but then there was a sale a while back and i was just scooping up love like it was my job and i ended up getting only the travel things in Flamingo Black. It was a gateway drug because that just opened up the seal and now I have a ton of <laughs> Flamingo Black. But here is the travel blanket, which is nice. It has a little trolley sleeve or handle, you know, however you want to use that. It has this little embroidered lug with the airplane and knapsack written right on it. Um, but it is, it's a zipper little pocket here normal lug hardware really nice and smooth it opens up into a blanket a nice soft flamingo black blanket and then it also in this little pocket on the blanket it has a blow up pillow so you take the blanket out and you can use this as a pillowcase for your little travel pillow so i'm excited to give this a try for the first time um, since I'm flying from Tucson to Orlando, you know, it's you got a layover probably in Houston or wherever it was this trip. I can't remember. Um, so there'll be some, some chances to use the pillow for sure. And if you don't need the blanket, you can just leave it like this and you have a pillow. So that was the first item. Along with that, I also bought at the same time the neck pillow and the luggage thing, the baggage claim, I think it's called. And somewhere in here, I have the luggage strap as well. But for the moment, I use this neck pillow. I hooked my luggage tag on there, just, just because. That way, if God forbid, I left this on the plane, then it could possibly be returned to me if I put my card in there. That was my thinking. But that was initially all I bought, the baggage claim, the neck pillow, and the blanket. And you can, you know, when you're not using it, just strap the three together and I would at least get my stuff back if I was, you know. But this is really cool. It has a clip, you know, that you can adjust. And it also, it's like a memory foam, but it's a soft memory foam. So you can like really squish it really small. 
and squish it inside something. So you don't have to have this bulky thing on the outside of your bag if you don't want. It does also have a zipper here in the middle. So you can take the cover off and wash it, which is wonderful. I think that's great. I mean, it'll be a little tricky getting it in and out, but you can, and it's, it's a great feature for sure, especially in this COVID world that we're in. There you go. So that was initially it. And my thinking was, and let me find it real quick, because the, the luggage strap, because it's that beautiful black with the pop of pink and teal on it, here's what I was thinking. I put, even though it doesn't need it, <laughs> for decorative purposes, here, let me open this up. For decorative purposes, I was gonna put it on my bag. Oh, goodness. It's got this hard plastic. Okay, so I've got this, which let's just put it around it for now. I think it's big enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so look at that. You got this strap to give it a pop of color. You know, I could put it at the top or I could put it in the middle there if I'm not using those pockets. And I don't know. I just think that'll be cool. And then with the bag on top, I could also, because it's a big strap, I could also do it vertically instead but I think I'd rather have the accessibility in the pockets. So, maybe, maybe not, just an option. But that was my thinking. Okay, other things. We have a carousel in flamingo black. Because once the seal was cracked, I was like, hmm, I kind of need a bag, you know, to go with my bag. So a purse on the go, maybe. Or I could use it as a storage piece, you know, organizational piece within the bigger bag. So we shall see. But the cool thing about this bag is it, it can be used in so many different ways. Um, like I said, it can be a purse, it can be a storage piece, it can be an organizational piece, it can be a belt bag, a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Um, so you just have a lot of options. But it's a great size. It has a zipper pocket on the back, nice bright pink inside. And I think it's called foulard interior. It has a zipper pocket on the front. Inside it has a soft line pocket and nothing else in there. It has its own little gusset there and this faux thing on the front that's just decorative. Then behind that you have a zipper pocket and this one is, is your built-in wallet. You have one, two, three, four, five, six card slots built in right there and that pocket is in fact RFID. So there you go. This one does not have a cell phone pocket per se but you could put your phone in either the front or the back or the, you know, whichever one. Inside the main pocket, you have clear view on the front and two cargo pockets on the back. Pretty good size to the bag though, so very generous. It's bigger than the roundabout and smaller than the Carousel XL. It's just a regular Carousel. So, we got that. That is maybe going to be, I don't know. I also got this one. This is the travel wallet. I think it's the Tango, if I remember. It has a slip there so you can put your, like your current boarding pass there, the one you're using right now. It has a double zipper. But look at all this space. Okay, it's RFID, but you, you can put all your other boarding passes, maybe put your passport here. You've got two other slips in front. You have a pen elastic there in the middle. You've got a slip. A zipper, yeah. we got another zipper, another slip, and five card slots with a little slot card keeper thing there. So a lot, a lot of options within this, and it's thick enough that you can really jam this up with all sorts of good stuff, which is cool. I'm just gonna put that in there and leave the silica in there. Yeah, the thing is though, I already have this type of thing in several other materials and patterns from other brands. So I don't know which I'm going to take. I might take this one just to go matchy-matchy, but we shall see. It will not be my wallet that I'll use running around Orlando though, so I might simplify the things a little bit and not duplicate too much because that's just redundant for the sake of redundant. And then I have here a nice jib storage pouch. It just has that in there. So the jib storage pouch is a nice size. You can put miscellaneous types of items in here. You could use it as a toiletry bag, a first aid kit. 
You can put your, you know, your little travel alcohols in there. I don't know. I'm not doing that. Um, you could put pens in here, pencils. You can use it as an electronics bag, which is probably the way I'm going to go with it. Put all my charging cords in here. Maybe. I don't know yet. But it will make the trip. And just a single zipper and a nice size there. I mean, you can put medications as well. Um, but I also have, and I can't remember if this is a backpack or a puddle jumper, but it's a packable, obviously, in the flamingo black. Let's see. I think it's, I think it's a puddle jumper, but yeah, it's just a regular puddle jumper. I'm not going to open it all up, but I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to take this. I can pretty much guarantee I would say 80% not coming, but I might need that extra bag. So if it turns out I overpack too much and I need an extra bag to bring my Vera Bradley shopping home with me because they have an outlet and the Disney Springs store. So I will be doing some shopping in person, which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah, and I might need an extra bag to come home. So it might make the trip, but it's not on the primary list, I don't think. Um, but then I also have the mini trolley and I only got the mini. I didn't get the regular size one because I just wanted it as these travel organization accessory pieces. So the jib might end up being a miscellaneous pouch and I might use this as my electronic everything. Like when I get on the plane, I can grab this out and put my bag under the seat and this is all I'll need. Maybe have some snacks, my external chargers, my cords, my fun stuff maybe a book in there I don't know we'll see but definitely that's going then I also have the transports in flamingo black these are a three-piece set so this is the large one and then you have the smallest and you have a medium size so the smaller two are size of the runway envelope sets normally but the difference is they have an extra pocket on the back so they're only clear view on one side and actually I really love that about them they also have the zipper that extends a little bit beyond the end of the thing, unlike the runway, so they do open up just a little bit more, which is also a nice feature, depending on how you have it packed. Um, the other difference about them is the large one has this ring on it. It is a you know quick release piece. Um, so you can use it to clip onto things, you know, or clip your keys on it or whatever. Um, or you can take that ring off and use it for other things like the zip liner modification, making it a crossbody compatible bag. And I'll put that video right here for you as well. So you can check that out if you're interested. But you could, you don't have to buy rings. If you have a bunch of transports laying around, just pull two of those rings off and you can use those for that conversion. So that's kind of cool as well. Frankenstein cannibal stuff if you need it. Um, okay, other Flamingo Black. I also have the Flash in flamingo black you can tell i haven't used any of these things yet because they're all still tags on but this is nice it's like a brushed black and it has that pop of pink and teal i just love that it's just such a fun pretty happy pattern and then inside is that foulard hot pink two sides plastic and you can see the shape of the bag it's wider here at the bottom so when you fill it up it actually can hold quite a lot this is another travel organizational piece that it's pretty sure they're going to make the trip. It's just a matter of what I'm going to put in it. This, yeah, we'll see all that in the unpacking. Just going through the options for now. All right. So that is pretty much the organizational pieces. So other wallet options, since we were talking about, you know, I have that, I think it's a Tango. Um, I'll put it in the remarks below just in case I've screwed that up. But I have a travel organizer. I have the new Rodeo 2, and this one is in the Resort Black. But the reason I grabbed this is because I don't have a Flamingo Black wallet. But if you look at it, I mean, like, okay, it doesn't match, but it kind of coordinates with the teals and pinks, you know, and the black. So I thought, well, okay, if I wanted to go with a real slim wallet option, I could certainly go with this as an option. Probably not, because, again, I don't, I want to simplify things. So we'll see, but probably not also have one of my favoriteest love wallets of all time and that's a splits xl it's a wristlet you can remove that strap as well um but yeah so the splits xl is a great wallet great size and since it's black it totally matches very nicely 
Additionally, the bag I'm currently using as my purse is my black coupe, coupe nation. Yeah, and I'm loving it. I actually moved into it to go roller skating and I've stayed in it. Um, and I just keep adding a little more to it. We will do another video today on what's in here, but this is a great option that can get me to and from and around. But we'll talk more about why I wanna change out of the flamingos later. Okay, other things inside. I did grab the black runway envelopes. These are just plain black. The interior is uh, like a pearl gray kinda. Um, so unlike the one that's in the puddle jumper, same thing, but just different interior color. And I don't think we need that many envelopes, but we might, we might, depending on how I use them. I, this is not lug, um, nor is it the, the right pattern, but it is sunglasses and a sunglass case. So I grabbed the one that most nearly matched it. So this is Vera Bradley Vines Floral, and there's your Flamingo Black. So theme-wise, it definitely matches. The pinks, you know, and, and teals and greens don't perfectly match, but I think it coordinates well enough that it's quite a nice match. Inside, I also have the Vines Floral sunglasses, I think. Yes, I do. So they also match with the green, clear green on the front. But I do like the Vera sunglasses. I have lots of them, and this is a great travel safe way to carry them because it's a nice hard case. Also, I grabbed my black heart pouch from Lug, which probably will make the trip because it's just another thing. I can clip it on the side of my bag, have some hand sanitizer wipes, some hand sanitizer, an extra mask or two. I could have my chapstick, all the like instant need items, but not have to use up space inside my bag. Because overpackers, we need every, every little bit. Yeah, so we got that. And then, last but not least, uh, in the interior of this bag at the moment is, even though a lot of places are winding down in their COVID precautions and requirements, I'm still of the mindset that on a plane, I would wear a mask right now anyways, and I'm pretty sure it's still totally required every moment. So. I'm bringing multiple masks to give myself choices for a couple reasons. One, because I sweat a lot. Two, because it's a long day of traveling there and back. So I will change my mask multiple times throughout the day just so I'm not breathing in the moist air. I can change it, put a fresh mask on and keep more comfortable and probably more protected. So I grabbed a bunch of ones that could go. Well, for sure, no matter. This one is going with me because, hello, it's Flamingo Black, right? So that one goes. The Wildflower Black, this is the soft lug mask with the pouch. Um, this is obviously the pouch part of it, but pattern-wise, yeah, I think that coordinates quite nicely. It's not a match, but it does coordinate. I have Vera Bradley Plain Black. I've got Vera Bradley Butterfly Flutter, which again with the pinks and teals, very nice, I think. Um, I have this other one that's pinks and teals. This is like a, I've forgotten the name of this pattern. It's actually Vera Bradley pattern, but it's not Vera Bradley. It's a knockoff. I bought it on Amazon like way back, way before COVID. It's like a sort of padded, like, anyways, it works great. I have some filters. I have, this one is the citrus hibiscus. I haven't even opened it yet, you can tell. But again, you know, colors and theme wise, I would use that. I'm gonna wash all these before I go, so they're not used yet. I have the Wildflower Garden, which again, doesn't match match, but it kind of coordinates. There's the Vines Floral, we've already established that that's a good coordinating one. And I grabbed Foxwood, which isn't quite as good of a match, but you know, black with the pinks and you know, other colors. So I think they all coordinate. And they'll give me lots of options and I won't have to worry about washing masks there. I can just wash them all, take a whole clean pouch and then just use them as I go and then wash them all when I get home and that should be okay. Um, but additionally, I have some other masks because we're gonna spend one day at Universal and I'm gonna go see all of Harry Potter, which is why we have an in and around is a whole different set of things. Um, but I do have some masks as well, starting with Home to Hogwarts. These are the pleated style masks. 
So they have like the over the head ones. I thought these for the long day would be better because they're not gonna hurt my ears. You know, you just put it up and over your head and you know, so they're not gonna be pulling on my ears the whole time, hopefully. But the pleated mask with the fitted nose piece and there's the pattern. Coincidentally, color wise, again, not a perfect match, but I would totally wear things like that together. Ah, okay. So, but I need to um, wash this. It hasn't been, hasn't been washed yet. So I have that one. And then it also came with a second one, which is the interior pattern of the same. So I've got those two. And then I have the Gryffindor ones. So for that day at Universal, at least, I have no, no less than four masks and I'll still be themed all day. Oh boy, I did a number on my crazy hair. Okay, so that's the masks and yeah, pouches. So, yay! Now let's look at the bag because this is a great travel bag, a great weekend bag, um, a great gym bag. It's a great, it's a very versatile bag. It is a convertible style, which I love, love, love on the travel bags, having the multiple options to carry it. In this case, you have handles that have no slip grip on them and they do lay flat, as you can see when you drop them. So you have two handles, so you can carry it like this. You can put this over your shoulder. I'm kind of big, so for me, that would be my least preferable option is to carry this particular way. But if you're a small petite person, that might fit very nicely up over your shoulder and you can carry it that way. But it does have a removable adjustable shoulder strap or crossbody. And this also has a pad on it with the no slip grip, which is very nice. If you don't want the pad, you can certainly remove that. I'm gonna leave it on. But the good thing about this strap is you can wear it crossbody um, as well or you can just take it off and not. And if you don't want any of that, you also have backpack straps that tuck in as well, and they have no slip grip on the back as well, so they're not gonna be sliding off your shoulders. So when you're not using them, you can just unclip it, and this does not have a place to tuck those loops in, but it's not gonna bother anything just hanging out like that. While we're on the back of it, there is also a trolley strap that Velcros down against the bag, and if you're, Using the straps or not using the straps, you do have a slip pocket there that you can share with the strap space as well. So that's the back of the bag. Then start looking at pockets. You have right here a double zipper. And this bag has the inverted style zipper. You can kind of see it looks like the rubber. It's like the backside of the zipper. Some of us call that inside out, whatever. It's a style thing. It functions the same, but you can kind of see there. Um, but this is a padded pouch. Both sides are padded, so this is like your laptop area. It does have its own gusset there. It's about two fingers thick, and you can kind of see where that seam is. That's the pocket. So that's the first pocket. Let me zip that back up. And then um, the main pocket, I know we're doing this a little bit out of order, but going back to front, so you have your main pocket, you have a privacy pocket, and then you have two elastic cargo pockets. Back inside here. So look at the base of this bag though. Plastic coated, so very, very wipeable, which is great because this bag is gonna have to go under the seat for me because I'm putting the other one in the overhead and it does have the plastic feet. That's all very great, very, very wipeable and sanitizable. Um, then coming forward, after you get out of the main pouch, you have the cell phone pocket right here, soft lined. You have a zipper pocket, again, double zipper, the same inverted zipper format. Inside here, you have a clear ID window plus five more card slots. You can see there the black tag, so it's RFID as well. You have a key bungee, key clip on the end, so that is great. You can hook your coin purse, you can hook your wallet, your wristlet, you can hook your um, keys, you know, whatever you want. And then behind that, on the back of the bag here, or the back of this pocket, you have a one zipper, two pocket. There's a seam in the middle, two clear view. And then beneath that, you have two more elastic cargo pockets. And this does as well have almost three fingers worth of width of its own gusset as well. So it's not sharing space with the inside of the bag. It does kind of share space with this front pocket. So if you bulk out things in this pocket, it doesn't have, much it has a maybe one finger gusset there so it has a little bit of space but if you have bulky items there that's gonna take away some of the interior space as well but you definitely have nice access and this is just a trim feature here that black line 
So we'll zip that back up. And we're not done yet. This is such a great bag. And look, you have two big, generous, elastic cargo pockets, one on each end. Um, which So you have two on this bag and you have two on the puddle jumper. So um, yeah, lots and lots of options. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so few other options to get me there and back. Um, I take a bunch of like supplements and I have to take um, some medication. So uh, day and night I'll have like AM, PM. And I don't want to bring all the bottles of things, so I'm just going to pre-put them in the, in the pill box and just take what I need. So I was thinking I could take my week worth of day-night pill boxes and I use this Vera Bradley large travel pill case. This one is Lotus Flower Swirl. It doesn't really match the pattern, but it's the only one I have in this format. And I don't have the pill case that matches Flamingo Black um, from Lug. It's fine. Um, but in here, I could use my regular daily pill boxes, or I could use these ones that are built in. But really, it's four days and three nights, so I just need four. We'll do four day and four night. That gives me an extra, a full extra day of day and night meds. So I could just take two of these and then put other things in here, or just take these and put them inside another bag. So I might do that, but I might just leave this out and take the smaller Vera Bradley pill box. This one is in Berry Mary and it's a gray velvet, very super soft. And it's got this um, embroidery and soft white on top, it's pretty cute. But this one also has eight slots. So it's the same number and the same size basically, but it's just like a compact little thing and I could put this inside of one of my other many pieces um, or again, just like I was saying, I could take this piece out and use this just by itself. And these also come apart like into twos. So you could just separate them any which way if, you, if I decide to. I think probably I'm just gonna take that and leave it just like this. We'll see when it comes to packing. Um, then I also am going to bring some snacks for the road because I'm trying to stick to my keto diet and so I'll bring like almonds and then I have some like candies I, I bought for my nephew so I'm gonna put all that kind of stuff together in a snack bag and I wanted it to be insulated so I grabbed I don't know where it is it must be in the other stuff I have my lug insulated pouch so that and that could even fit inside this this is a bagalini wet bag wet dry bag it's just a nice bag it has this cute little pattern it you know it's black and gray so it doesn't exactly match but it's a good size and it's got that wipeable interior so I could use this for like my snack bag was what I was thinking I do have one of these exact same thing in just plain black but I haven't even opened it yet I'm like not gonna open it till I use this one first anyway so that's one other accessory piece that may get used I also grabbed some luggage tags because I have just the one Flamingo Black. So if I decide to leave them on my travel accessories, rather than putting it on the puddle jumper, which I probably will just do that, honestly. Um, but then I also grabbed these two Vera Bradley ones. This is the Tangerine Twist from the outlet side. And again, it doesn't match, but it does coordinate, like this one especially. So you got the pinks and the kind of greens and teals. I thought that it coordinates enough that I certainly would use those together and still feel like I'm matching. So mixy matchy versus matchy matchy. Um, but yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna need these, but I did grab them just in case. Same note, I have this other luggage tag. Honestly, I don't remember where I got this or if, it, I think it was a free gift when I bought something from somewhere. I, I don't remember because I don't think I bought it. So I do not need luggage tags. But this is like a, a rubber one, like a silicone kind of thing. And it's a watermelon, which I totally, is my number one favorite food in the world for, I could eat watermelon all the time, but love it. Um, but look, it's pink and green. So yeah, I thought I definitely could use that as well. So I might, I might do that. Um, I also grabbed some other Vera Bradley items. Um, not to force Vera Bradley into the mix, but because I was just seeing what kinds of items would match or could coordinate with this whole get up here um, and or fill a size and shape void 
um, that maybe wasn't covered by some of these items. So we'll see. But I grabbed this piece, and this is the New Hope Girls, I don't know what it's called, like cosmetic, I think. Um, and New Hope Girls, by the way, is Rescuing Girls and Empowering Women in the Dominican Republic. So you can look that up. It's Vera Bradley and New Hope Girls. It has this leather tag sewn on it. And this is like a canvas type material. But you can see it's definitely the tropical botanical florals. Um, but it's the pinks and greens on, and I think this is a navy background actually, not black. But again, kind of coordinates. It's not a direct match or anything. But I like this size and shape. So it still might, it's kind of like a little bit smaller than the jib actually and a different material. But also, I grab, remember we were talking about Vines Floral? Well, I have these pencil pouch trios from Vera Bradley, and I really love them, actually. They're really great, and what I love most about them is they're so slim and trim profile, so they're great organizational pieces, especially for traveling, because they're so white, lightweight and they're not bulky at all. Um, they're just a great option. Uh, yeah, so they come in a size of three. They also have a quick release thing so you can clip them together or not. Um, but three sizes. So in this case, the small and the large are the Vines Floral, which once again, there's your coordinating colors. Look how well that goes together. And then the middle one is this like peachy dot or pink dot rather. And again, color wise, you know, it still can go. So I'm not going to need all of these pouch options all at once but I might mix and match and figure out what works. And before I remembered I had this one, I, I had initially grabbed the Kaleidoscope one um, because of the pinks and blacks. This one doesn't match nearly as well though, although that one could, that one could. But anyway, so that one pretty much is out. If I went with them, I would use this set. Stuff everywhere now, oh, don't fall. And that's it, so. Yeah, that is the options for the to and from. Uh, we shall see, because that is a lot. That alone filled the bag. That's not even without packing anything I need, so clearly this is too much. But I'll figure it out, and you'll get to see later what that ends up being. So that concludes part one. Part two is coming up. Bye for now.